don't mind my bangs because I'm I, I'm over these bangs and I have to grow them out and today we're gonna talk about Eva NYC So I do have a lot of products from them that I have yet to review that I purchased myself months ago I've only reviewed the Eva NYC hair mask, which is really amazing by the way to do that But today I'm gonna be reviewing their shampoo conditioner and their main magic 10 in 1 primer So these three were sent to me by Eva NYC. Obviously, I'm always trying to be transparent with you Still my honest thoughts. I wasn't paid for it. It's not sponsored in any way I was in a group of people who were getting it free, but I also saw the other group of people who are actually getting paid to do it i'm gonna go through the pros and cons of the shampoo and conditioner i won't call this a full review because generally i like to test out my hair products for at least six months or as long as they last we'll, we'll call this first impressions but i think i already have a good sense of how i feel about them the shampoo and the conditioner have the same smell as the hair mask it's super hard for me to describe it just smells really good it's not super fruity but it's not super florally it's just like a combination but i just really like how it smells so it's nice to know that they all have a similar scent the thing that really blew me away or that i really been enjoying is the primer because the shampoo is good it lathers smells good but it's nothing that i wouldn't already really love from anything else that i use except the smell does kind of help brighten up my mornings when i use it it's also eight fluid ounces which is great these bottles are also it's new packaging so they are recyclable um it's like aluminum and you send it back they give you a shipping label which i think is really good i think it's a step in the right direction when it comes to sustainability because that's just such a hot topic right now it's always depressing when i think about climate change and what it's doing to our planet but let's not talk about depressing things it's recyclable if you are curious it's new packaging so it's a 10 in 1 primer it's powered by argan oil and sunflower seed so it strengthens your hair it's a heat protectant and reduces frizz i definitely think it reduces frizz it's very silky like it's something about it that's a noticeable texture on your skin hair i was gonna say skin i do have to use it sparingly like all my products because my hair just gets weighed down so easily and it really bothers me like if i put a little bit too much of a conditioner or of a styler it's gonna get weighed down at least when i'm straightening my hair when i'm curling my hair or i mean keeping it naturally curly it's not an issue so i did use this today and it did help with my frizz except don't look at my bangs because that's not included even though i did spray it on my bangs but my bangs are just crazy i do think it helps with the frizz it gets it very silky and soft but i can tell i use a little bit too much not because it looks bad but because i can just tell the texture feels a little bit heavier than what it normally feels like and i feel like that just happens with my hair um and it kind of stops it from it, it keeps it from lasting as long in between wash days you know what i mean like when i straighten my hair i can like not wash my hair for like four or five days before it starts getting oily but when i put too much of a product like this it shortens that a little bit if that makes sense it's nothing necessarily particular about the product like i wouldn't fault it for it it's just my hair and it's a matter of not applying too much sometimes i just get happy spraying 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 because it smells so good but yeah that's something to keep in mind if you have hair that has similar problems like that it's still really good i did use it as a heat protectant which i'm happy because i'm always struggling with heat protectants and stuff like that and my hair always gets damaged regardless but it feels good when you use a heat protectant because it feels like you're actually doing something for your hair it says it cuts drying time i did notice that i had a blow dry my hair when i did this which i normally don't do i have a whole video about my straight hair routine so i will link that down below as well as in the cards but i definitely try to avoid blow drying my hair i let it air dry but when I strained my hair this time around, I had no choice. I was in a time crunch because I wanted to film as much as possible today. So I did use it with a blow dryer and I do feel like my hair definitely dried a little bit faster than normal, which is interesting because I feel like normally when I use products like that, that dry your hair faster, it contains much more alcohols and it's a little bit more drying. But with this, I didn't experience that. Packaging is cute. Now onto the conditioner. It's the similar consistency as the hair mask. I would say it's a little less conditioning. Like a hair mask is always gonna be a little bit stronger in my opinion. So I think I'm just always going to prefer using a face, I said face mask, using a hair mask instead, just because it's creamier. It's just, you know, it just stays there longer. So I'm definitely gonna try to repurchase that in the future once I'm done with my note buy. The hair mask is just amazing and I will link that review as well because it's one of my favorites and I'm almost out of it. But the conditioner again is great. It's great for everyday use, especially if you have normal hair where you don't really need a hair mask every time you wash your hair, you know, just a conditioner just for daily maintenance of your hair, then it's definitely something I would recommend. In terms of the shampoo, like I said, it didn't blow me away. It's just a simple shampoo. It lathers, it cleans your hair, it smells really good. So I will definitely have a video going up soon about some of the other products that I did buy with my own money, just because I I definitely tried these out for more than six months. I just haven't gotten to doing reviews for them because I'm trying nowadays to include demos of me using actual products, which is kind of hard sometimes just getting the tripod ready when you're actually 
getting ready. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about when it comes to these products. And if you have any questions, comments, if you've ever tried Eva NYC, let me know down below or let me know what other products you're trying out right now. I definitely like, oh, we didn't talk about price point. So these are not as expensive as I thought they were. They're a little bit higher than like Herbal Essences or Pantene in terms of price point, but they're not as high as like the high-end hair care that I've tried in the past. I think it's a good middle ground, so I'm definitely happy about it. Like some of these things are just like 12 bucks, 10 bucks, which I think is way better than like 15, 20 dollars per bottle. And yeah, I have a love and hate relationship with salon quality brands. So I'm glad that this is a little bit cheaper than that. And these things do go on sale quite often. So it's definitely good to keep an eye out. The last time I did a review for a product and I didn't look up the price and it was like $30. And it was just a mess. So I learned from my mistakes, guys, even though I almost didn't mention it in this video. But yeah, now I can say that we're done with this video. Let me know if you have any requests for future videos. How are you guys doing? How are you holding up? Let me know down below, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.